Hi, this is my 2021 Yamaha Tracer 9 GT. Uh, ignore that Triumph Speed Twin in the back there. Uh, and today, I just want to talk about the comfort seat that you can order for the bike and how that compares to the stock seat, which is shown here. And I'll just detail some writing impressions and basically how to install this. Uh, so, as you can see right off the bat when looking at these two seats, the main difference is that you have extra padding on the comfort seat versus the sock stock seat that's just completely flat. And I'll put this down. So those pads basically allow you to spread, I guess, the pressure points a little more. Uh, they're just elevated a bit. And it's, uh, especially if you have a bony butt like I do, I guess those little bones there will allow to just spread a little more. You know, frankly, the stock seat is not that bad as compared to some other bikes I've had, but you know, I can go a few hours before having to shift a bit in the seat. This just, you know, you may get another hour or two uh, with this one. It's not a world of change. It doesn't change the angle of the seat or anything like that. And frankly, the foam appears to be about the same, the foam density. Uh, when you press underneath the seat. So if you look underneath here, this foam density, when you press down, appears to be about the same on the comfort seat as well. So I think the magic here is those little elevated pads and that's it. Uh, so yes, I can go a few hours with it and then I start shifting a bit, but it's, it's a little better. It's incrementally better than the stock seat. Uh, note that I'm in the US and dealers did not have this. I had to order this from Canada and the dealer in Canada shipped it over to the US. And heck, you know, you get the exchange rate, I guess. So what we'll do next is just go through what it takes to install this seat. There's a little trick to it that uh, it's not too bad at all, but you just have to know what to pull out and what to squeeze in order to put in and remove the seat. So the first step is to remove the passenger seat. And once you do that, you'll see a little rubber thingy there. That rubber thingy comes off. So off it goes. And that's it. You just pull on it and that's gone. And there's no screws or anything to take off the, uh, the, the rider seat, actually. All you have to do is come back here and you got to stick your fingers in here and basically pull up sideways, I should say, on a little lever. So once you do that, there we go. You hear that click? It just comes right off. And that's it. So going back in will be the same step. So once you take this off, uh, note that on my seat, I have it set on low, uh, the low rider height, which means I need, it's adjusted for that. And you have to put this piece of, uh, rubber that came with it. You know, they wasn't installed. They had set the seat on low when I bought the bike, but they hadn't installed this piece, which I guess it, you know, fills in the gap so rain doesn't get in there and stuff like that. So, uh, but yeah, mine's set on low or the lowest it'll go. And to put it back in, it's the exact reverse. You know, this clip right here, this goes, stick that in there and then you press back down. Uh, pretty hard to get it to click again. So you get that click. And then you have to put this back in, this rubber thingy. Uh, note that it might be easier. See, I get stuck here uh, trying to put it back in. It just doesn't fit. So I find it easy. Let me show you a little better here how this goes back in. So what I do is I put this in just loosely. You don't want to stick it all the way in because then it prevents that little lever from moving. As you can see here, it has a, that's where the little lever goes in in that little gap there in here. So you just want to put it in loosely, just loosely like that. And then it clips, see, it goes in and then you put the rubber thingy back in and that's it. Uh, then you just put the rear seat back on and you're all set. So hopefully this helps out. Like I said, I couldn't find it in the US. Uh, so I had to buy it from Canada. They seem to have maybe a few more accessories available there at the moment and not a world of change, but I'd say one step up.
in terms of maybe giving you just a little longer writing time before you really start uh, feeling more a little more uncomfortable. Uh, so hopefully this helped and thank you.